Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be my February favorites video. February has been such an amazing ass month in the beauty world. I like to think so. I might be biased, but February is a good month. So, I really wanted to talk about a couple of products I've been using this month that I've been living for and breathing for and dying for and going to jail for. So, they're just bomb. I've actually already filmed this video, but my footage was completely corrupted because the audio was fucked up. So, I'm refilming it. That is dedication because I was just gonna edit today and now I have to film, so I had to do my makeup again. It was a mess. It was a mess. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna stop rambling. I feel like I ramble a lot during these favorites videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny. Manny M-U-A. And welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Maniac family. Frolic. Frolic upon, among the others. Drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay, let's get into this video. Okay, first things first, first favorites. I'm sure you guys knew this was gonna be the favorites that came up first. Duh, it's fucking so good. It is the Manny MUA and the Makeup Geek collaboration palette. This came out this month. It's been so crazy. This launch was insane. We broke the site. My Maniacs broke the site. It was crazy. Sold out like the next day in like minutes. And it was just, it was gnarly. Yeah, I'm not gonna go full into detail about this palette because I do have a video about the palette specifically, but this is what it looks like. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I hit pan on Mars because I did a photo shoot using Mars. Like, I like, kind of scraped some onto a cup and sprinkled it onto my face to do a photo shoot. So it looks really janky right now. The whole palette looks janky, but it has character. And it has stories, okay? But I absolutely love this palette so much. I will leave where to buy it down below as well as a video about the palette if you guys want to see that as well. If it's sold out right now, I feel like when this video goes up, it will be sold out. So what I would suggest to you is go to my link, click the link, Go to where the palette page is. There's a button where it says sign up for email notification to get notified when the palette is back in stock. So that's what I would do for you guys. It's really easy. You just put your name and your email. It's super fast, super easy, done. You're good to go. But it's just a good way to get notified when the palette is back in stock rather than having to wait and not know if you're going to be able to get it when it does come back. So yeah, that's, just, that's my suggestion. That's what I would suggest to you guys. I just want to say thank you to everyone and all the other beauty people and influencers that have been talking about my palette and doing tutorials with my palette. I really appreciate it, you guys. Like, I truly do. It's been... Such an amazing, positive response, and I really hope you guys do love it when you guys get it, and it's been an intense ride with this bitch. We've waited a long time. We have waited a long time, but it's finally here, and I think it's beautiful. So I hope you guys like it. Also, this month, I wanted to give another palette some love and some credit, and some just where credit is due. Where credit is motherfucking due. It is the Hidden Treasure Palette by Joseph Colors. This palette, look how, first of all, look how thin it is. So travel friendly, the cardboard is amazing. Love the packaging. And then you open it, it's these stunning ass colors. Look at how awesome this palette is. This is an amazing ass palette. I've used it a couple times and I just think it's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful palette. The quality of these shadows, you guys, like I'm not kidding you, like, like are you joking this gold? This is like true gold here. Like, what the hell? It's honestly amazing, and I'm so proud of Dose of Colors. I think Dose of Colors is such an amazing brand, and I love their liquid lipsticks, and I think they're just doing everything right. Like, they started with liquid lipsticks, they started to expand, or did they start with liquid lipsticks, what? Or did they start with lashes? I don't really remember. I just think they're doing a really great job on social media and being in the social media brand, and I think they're doing everything that a brand on social media should be doing, and I just love Dose, and I love Anna. If you ever watch my videos, I don't think you do. But if you ever do, I love you guys, and you guys are so great, and I'm so proud of you guys' company. It's come such a long way. I don't even know if this is in stock right now, too. It might be sold out as well, because this palette is a hot item. There are four matte shades. There are one, two, three, four, five foily type shades and one shimmery shade. There's ten shadows total, and I think it's $50, which is, again, $5 per shadow. Great, great, great price point. Reminds me of my palette with Makeup Geek, $5 a shadow. Plug, shameless plug. I just think it's an awesome palette, and hopefully it is in stock. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it's absolutely amazing, and I would definitely recommend it to you guys. Bomb. Dose of Colors. Guy. Also, one more thing from Dose of Colors that I want to talk about this month that I've been loving are the Dose of Colors Ideal Duo bases. The, my favorite one is the shade Shell. It is so beautiful. It's a pigment, but it's a glitter at the same time. It's like kind of hard to explain. It's like a glitter pigment. What it is, it's like a little pot like this, and you get your base color down first so you get like this cream base literally a cream and you like put it down first and then you open it up and you put the pigment glitter on top of it to make it stand out more and stick to the base so this is what it looks like when i have the base and i have the powder on top of it like the pigment part it is just absolutely stunning i like shell because it's like a when you look at it it's like a pearlized 
pinky bronze color. It's stunning. Like, it's stunning. Again, those are colors. You guys have been slaying it, like, so hard recently. Like, I'm so proud of you guys. If you guys can, check out the Ideal Joes. I think they're absolutely amazing, and they're not too expensive either. And I just think it's cool that it is a base. You get a cream base to go with the pigment that you have as well. So it's like a double-duty kind of product. And I love it. I think it's an awesome product. So now I want to talk about a couple of brushes I've been loving for this month. Um, <laughs> first two I'm going to talk about are from Morphe. These are like, oh, these have been my tried and true for the past couple of months. Actually, not even just one month. It's the past couple of months. These have been my saving grace. So first one I want to talk about is the E18. This is a dense pencil brush. It's kind of like the E36. Double the size and like more dense. I just really like to use this for underneath my lash line. I'll just kind of blow out a smoky eye using this. If I want to do more something more precise, I'll use the E36, but if I want to just like blend out a lot of product because the circumference of this one is a lot bigger, I'll use this brush instead. It really has changed up my under eye game, and I know it sounds kind of funny and like weird, like, who cares about your under eye game? Um, bitch, I do. Hi. Um, I need my under eye to look blended and flawless, especially when I'm going into, to, to like events and stuff. I'm like, that needs to be like a smoky a smoky waterfall, you know? And that's what the E18 does for me. I just think it's absolutely amazing. It's dense enough, but it's not too dense. Blends out everything seamlessly. It's just an amazing, amazing brush. I would highly recommend this one. And the second brush I wanna talk about is the E43 by Morphe, and this is completely opposite. This is a dense, flat definer brush. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see the denseness of this bitch? It's a little line. It's literally like the skinniest brush I own. It's literally like, besides like the E06 by Sigma, skinniest brush I own, and it's great at applying pigment or product to the bottom lash line, and just kind of using it to like press in the product. I'll pick up like a darker shade like Aphrodite from my palette, and I'll press it into the lashes, and then I'll use like the E18 to blend it out, or the E36 to blend it out, and it turns out so nicely. I just really like this because I feel like of all the little like pencil brushes or all the detail brushes I have to pack on product, this has been my most used. Like literally like the, of the whole, all the whole month. Like this one really does get so close to your lash line because it is so skinny and it's so defined and tapered and it just it's just so good. It's so good. I would really recommend it. If you guys like to do that kind of stuff on the lower lash line where you like to smoke it out or you guys want to do like a natural lower lash line and blend that out, I would definitely recommend both of these, the E18 and the E43 by Morphe. I am a Morphe and affiliate. I, they're like literally one of my favorite brands to work with ever. My code's MANNYMUA in all caps. If you guys want to save money, if you guys don't, it's all good. In store online, it's just a if you guys want to save some extra cash, you can use that code and save 10% on anything on the whole site. Also, like, these are only like five bucks each, I think, and you gotta save 10% off of that. So it just, you just save more money. You can save more money, okay? But yeah, I would definitely recommend these highly, 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 highly. And then the other brush I want to talk about as like an honorable mention because I've been living for this brush and I've been waiting for it to come out for literally like two months is the new Benefit Hula bronzing brush. Look, look at this brush. The bamboo handle, the blue bristle tip. Like, are you kidding me? Look how cute this, like, this is the cutest brush. This is meant for hula, the powder hula, so you can literally dip into the box of powder and just kind of go in with the face, start bronzing up the skin. I just think it's such a beautiful brush, and it's, like, the perfect size, and it's absolutely stunning. It's almost like I don't even want to use it because it's so pretty, and it reminds me of, like, Kylie Jenner's hair, like, when she did the ombre from black to blue. It reminds me of that, like, in a brush form. I just think it's absolutely amazing, and I love that Benefit is expanding their new hula line. I went to uh, Hawaii recently <laughs> with Benefit. I literally just got back a couple days ago, and it was an amazing, amazing experience. I'm trying to edit the vlog for it right now. They expanded their entire hula line as well as some of their dandelion line, and you have, like, the new liquid bronzer now. You get the body bronzer. You get this. It's just, it's cool. I just think it's really awesome because Benefit is one of my favorite brands to work with. I love that they have a personality. Like, their brand, you know it's iconically Benefit, and I appreciate that about them, you know? Like, and I really appreciate the fact that they are willing to work with boys, you know, like me and Patrick, and it's just, it's amazing. I feel like Benefit is really, like, a front runner in the cosmetic world, and, like, even, like, the trips, like, the trips that they, like, the brands do now, Benefit started the whole thing, you know what I mean? So it's just, like, <sighs> Benefit, you little trendsetters, you, so I'm just really proud of Benefit, and I'm so proud of the company and the things that they've done, and I'm so honored to be working with them and, the th and doing things with them, so Benefit, I'm so proud of you guys, and I love this brush so much. If you guys can, check it out. The bristles are synthetic, and they feel oh, so good. They're reminding me of the Elite brushes by Morphe, like those soft-ass, like, high intensity, like, good brushes. That's what it reminds me of, so check it out. Only three products left, guys. Okay, only three. Okay, so I want to talk about this really quickly because it is absolutely amazing. I want to talk about the new Makeup Geek Contour Pans. <sighs> Makeup Geek, you fucking slayed my life, fool. Honestly, the Contour Pans are so good. They are literally some of the creamiest, most buttery, 
blendable powder contours I've ever, ever, ever tried. They literally remind me of the Kavon D Shade and Light Palette, like that kind of blendability, that pigmentation and butteriness to it, which I absolutely love. That's my favorite contour palette of like all time. And so the fact that the Makeup Geek contour colors feel like that and they blend like that and they work like that makes me so happy. I'm using it today, obviously. I, I literally have used them every single day that I've worn makeup every single, every single time. I'm not even kidding. Like I don't even use like my other contour products anymore. I just love these so much. They're only 10 bucks too. Like, are you kidding me? Their shade range is amazing too. There's eight shades total. There's four warm, four cool, and they literally range from like the lightest, lightest skin tone to the darkest of skin tones. What I love about Makeup Geek is that they really do cater to every skin tone, which I just love about them, and I really appreciate that about a brand. You know, not all brands cater to every skin tone, and Makeup Geek does, so I really do appreciate that so much, and the contour shades are amazing. They are very, very pigmented though, so you have to be careful. Like, barely dip your brush in and then work from there. Don't like swirl your brush and then go in because you will literally have like a fucking shit stripe on your face. So be calm with it and be patient. My favorite color that I use all the time is Bad Habit. That's the one I use for my face. And the one I use for my nose, the one I use for my nose, this is my travel palette. This is what I take with me. The one I use for my nose is Breakup because that's the cooler tone and Bad Habit's the warmer tone. So I really, really, really like those two shades. This is the Marc Jacobs Blacker Eyeliner. I have literally never used an eyeliner that is this amazing. I'm pretty sure I have literally never used another eyeliner that's literally this bomb. Honestly, like, the most black eyeliner, it's very creamy, and it stays in the waterline very, very nicely, which I really appreciate. It's expensive, though. It's, like, 29 bucks. I literally saw it, and I was like... You're joking, $29. But like, Marc Jacobs is Marc Jacobs. Like, you are paying for really good quality products. You're not paying, like, just for the name. You are paying for really good shit. Like, swear. Like, their products are actually bomb. They have a bunch of variety of shades, too. I know they have, like, maroon and green and brown, and they have a bunch of shades. It's funny because sometimes Sephora will have, like, a perk that's, like, a 100 point perk that's, like, a small version of this is, like, half the size. And I'm like, I'll have seven. I, I'll literally just, like, stock up when they have the perks because I love this eyeliner so much and if I could ever suggest you guys an awesome liner like I got my mom hooked on this one too she loves the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and it's a gel like formula so it's really 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 blendable very glidable and it's not gonna like tug at your eyes when you put it on your waterline or anything like that so love it and last but not least I'm kind of sad that it's over. I love favorites videos, damn it. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lipstick in the shade Magic Wand. It's the shade I'm wearing right now, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Are you kidding me with this lip? I'm honestly so freaking impressed with ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lip Line. They just launched, like, a crazy crap ton of colors, and they're absolutely amazing. ColourPop is really getting their freaking shit together, and they're gonna, like, fucking rule the world. I swear to God, they're doing so good right now. I didn't like the matte lipsticks that they've, when they first launched. I thought they were very crumbly, and I thought they were just not a good product, and I think that every single time they've launched since then, like, more colors are liquid lipsticks. They've been a lot better. Like, Kathleen's Lumiere 2, the liquid lipsticks that they, that they did, that one was really nice. And so I'm like, huh, maybe I should give ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks another chance. I really appreciate that about the brand, you know, like they're listening to the consumer, which I love. The Ultra Satin Lips, like right away, they're bomb, like right away. They have a beautiful consistency. They're very, very pigmented. I can do this, and it's very comfortable. It is like a satin lipstick. It's not like a liquid lipstick where it dries completely matte. Like you have a lot of wiggle room with this one. I mean, it transfers. It will transfer because it's not dry completely. Like if I, if I were to kiss my hand, it would be on my hand. But they stay on the lips really, really nicely. Like they last for hours on the lips. They're not like normal satin lipstick, like a tube lipstick where they like literally will leave your lips like a minute in, you know? Look at the pigmentation too. Like it's actually freaking amazing. See that shit? Congrats to ColourPop because you guys fucking killed it with these Ultra Satin Lips and I would definitely suggest for you guys to get some, for sure. Not sold on the liquid lipsticks just yet, but these ones, 100% sold. Get them. And that is it for my entire February favorites video. I just, I always get so sad when I finish them because I'm just like, man, we're done. I just love favorites videos because I think they're just, they're fun and I like to sit down and talk to you guys as if like, I'm talking to my friend about my favorite kind of products and those are just like my favorite videos to do. I like to do sit through, talk through videos, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love tutorials. I love filming tutorials. They're the best, but I love doing sit down videos and just chatting with you guys. I really want to do a Q&A very soon because I haven't done one in like so long. It's been like months and months and months and I feel like it'd be fun to do another one if you guys had any questions for me about anything in my life, literally anything. Bitch, I will answer it all. I mean with respect to my audience. But you know what I mean. Let me know what your guys' February favorites were. I really like to know about your guys' favorites as well because it's kind of hard for me to like go out and find new products besides the products that are constantly being sent to me. I need to know like what your guys' favorites are too because it really helps me in the realm of buying new products because I really do like to try out so many different things. So let me know what you guys have been loving for February and in my comments bar below and I would really, really, really appreciate that. It's like a two-way street, you know? I can tell you guys my favorites, you tell me yours. It's like this. 
say that. Other than that, I will leave everything linked down below as I always do, as well as discount codes and links if I have anything like that and that of that nature. But yeah, other than that, there's nothing else to say besides have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you. What was I going to say? Honestly, I like lost my train of thoughts. The train left the station. The bitch is done. And honestly, I don't care that, like, uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? There's four mats. You do. You can just leave it right there, please. Thank you, Dad, for the omelet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My dad made me an omelet. Because <laughs> he knew I had a film. <laughs> Isn't he so fucking cute? Emmy, don't start with me right now. So, today's video is going to be a February favorite. <laughs> And so I just really think that the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Fucking thirsty ass. Okay. It's fine. How cute is my fucking dad, though, for? What is so fucking sweet? <laughs>